hi everyone welcome to the channel aries the emperor here back with another general reading for the aries collective if you are new here welcome this is an all aries channel for all aries placements cross watchers are welcome as well please take in mind this reading may or may not resonate with everyone so just take what does leave what does not place the gender roles where they need to be for you this is energy and energy is all fluid so thank you guys um, everyone who's liked and subscribed to the channel thank you for all of your beautiful donations um, to everyone who has booked a personal reading with me um, readings will be sent out um, I've been working on a ton of natal chart readings I will say that and I'm very grateful for that and reading your guys's energy um, so I am caught up on those and I will have the remainder of those sent out today. So if you would like to connect with me, um, jump in my email or go to the website and go ahead and book. I have new candles I've been promising you guys and my candle winners. Um, I will be mailing your candles out because I have special candles for you. That's what's taken so long. I am debuting the newest edition this is rise of the phoenix here and when i tell you guys it smells amazing these candles they are woody okay citrusy um there's a tangerine flair to it um it just reminds me of the phoenix you know it, they're very vibrant um and like i mentioned they're all soy so i'm gonna be uploading these to the website I may do another sale as well, okay? Um, but I'm really excited about sending these out. So if you did win candles, you will be getting these special candles here. The brand new scent, Rise of the Phoenix, all right? Let's jump in. Let's pull some messages. Um, I was MIA yesterday because, like I said, I've been trying to catch up behind the scenes as well as I am moving, you guys. I have an official move-in date um, to my new place. Um, so I'm very excited about that and I'll keep you updated. Let's jump right on in. It is hump day Wednesday. All right. We are out in nature. We are loving life right now. We are appreciative. Um, and we smiling at our haters, you know, cause what else is there to do? We not going to frown up. We're going to let them walk around with the silly face. Uh, while we get out here and we make things better and we change the world because that's how amazing that we are as Aries, you know. It's all about value when it comes to you, Aries. It's all about quality over quantity, all right. And I feel like a lot of people not realizing that out here in these streets. All right, we got the Five of Cups and the Temperance Energy. What did I say? Quality, all right. Who cares about quantity? All right, this man has five cups and, and is fucking up and spilling each and every last one of them. You want to know why? Because he's not being appreciative for what they have. I feel like you're being practical in the energy that you're in. You're attacking Taurus season with that fixed energy. You know, not letting the stubbornness get the best of you. Staying grounded, learning from your mistakes and knowing, you know, shit happens. None of this is set out for us to be perfect. You know, we are literally only here to learn um, and lead. And sadly, I feel like someone is or something in or around your energy <laughs> is not taking it well, the way that you are learning, living, balancing, harmonizing, um, basking, rejoicing, um, and what it is, you know, the day that the cre the the day that God created uh, for you is enough for you to get out there and be your best and do your best. You know, that's all we can do. Do your best and for forget the rest. We got to keep it moving. You know, we Aries. We about that action, and the show must go on. The show definitely must go on. Seven of Swords, Aquarius Energy. Ooh. 
type of energy leechers are in your energy here, okay? The Empress. Mm. Taurus, Libra energy. Four of Pentacles. So this is just giving me an energy of greed, um, possessiveness, hoarding, controlling, but doing it in a, a sneaky way. It's almost like somebody's upset because they are losing and you're one-upping them by being your authentic self, you know? What they say, you don't fight fire with fire, you know? You attract more bees with honey. You may be understanding that. You know, it's a lot of fucked up people out here and their end game or not just their end game, but their goal from jump a lot of times is to come in and, and manipulate you see how far they can get over on you but whoever this is running up against you with this bird chirping in the background as confirmation is only setting themselves up for failure for regret for sadness um and it's happening i feel like all of that quality i'm sorry i feel like all of that quantity is not adding up to quality for somebody here or someone sees your value. And not able to control the outcomes of the situations in your life. Either you have decided to separate your energy completely from something or someone. And you, unbeknownst to you, they are sneakily still following you as you are glowing up and you are elevating. That's what I said, you smiling at your haters. It's no love loss. Just disappointment that you don't wanna be a part of anymore. You know, when you're building, when you're creating, six of wands, you know, you don't really have a lot of time to be wondering about what's going on beneath you you know you've worked hard for this and this may be off the strength of your back and your spirit guides when the person didn't see the value in you and you were disappointed time after time loss after loss and in finding that balance it takes a lot to find yourself when you get in a situation you know, and you feel like you've been stripped of your empress energy, your divine masculine energy. You know, you have to relearn yourself and relove yourself. You have to rebuild yourself. So whatever energy this is, if you have cut ties with, don't let it come back in and, and fall, make all of that fall. King of Swords, you know, smarten up. It's always logic over emotion or I feel like at this time here that's the energy that you need to be in it's gonna help you sail just a little bit smoother the ride is gonna be just a little bit more pleasant for you this time around Queen of Cups you know and you not having to compromise your feelings and emotions because you are protecting them. It's like that Big Sean song, you know, I, I, I hope you're doing cool, you know, but I ain't fucking with you. Strength card, Leo energy. <laughs> Leos love themselves and you are picking you here. The devil capricorn energy at the bottom of the deck um, this could be wow i split the deck the sun is on one side the devil was on the other it's giving me the energy of being obsessed with your energy like how are you this happy how are you this vibrant how are you continuing to come back from this and this could just, this could be at work that you're having to deal with people. 
you could be a business owner of some sort and maybe you've hit a few setbacks but each time you're able to find your refooting and you have this unbreakable strength about you and it's unwavering and the un the universe just continues to circle back around for you with this temperance energy this is what this is saying this cup is over this endless like she's in the fountain the earth angel the student you know going through the ring of fire going through being scammed or cheated on or stolen from manipulated knowing that these people came in and didn't mean no good they know they didn't mean any good and yet they still wallow in your quality of you your value you know and they couldn't taint that shit they still can't taint it because each and every time your light outshines their darkness collective like i mentioned you see the sun smiling at the devil smile at your haters they need it okay i'm gonna leave this reading here it's always a pleasure oh, hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me and as usual guys i'll catch you later ciao